once a mask gets wet, maybe from our exhalation, it really begins to decrement in effectiveness in filtering any sort of respiratory particulate matter. So that's one thing, it would need to be changed. The second thing is you do yourself no favor if you wear a mask and then touch the mask, either to adjust it or take it off in the wrong way. So, you know, as medical professionals, we're taught how to put a mask on, how to take a mask off, but this would be unfamiliar to the public. And I think the key thing is that you want a mask that's, you know, comfortable, but still tight fitting over the nose and mouth. Sometimes you see people wearing a mask that just goes above their upper lip. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing is once that's wet, once you're going to take it off, you take it off through however you're holding it onto your head. You do not touch the front of the mask. And then that mask needs to be washed before it would be used again. And, you know, just washing with soap and water in your uh, laundry machine, whatever it is, is, is quite satisfactory. You don't need to go to any extreme lengths.